in one minute I don't know how you are going to cry to God but please cry to God and say father every dishonor that I've communicated to this grace because of lack of discernment I obtain mercy tonight and I receive with an open heart I desire my life to change I understand the ministry of the prophetic someone is praying someone is praying your life is about to change lift your voice and pray shilaparus kadibala satatia rekete badusa sikete balanda shalakato brahasadia we are about to pray what a life you will never be the same Someone is praying, Father, the grace to be broken, the grace to examine myself, the grace to passionately pursue knowledge, the grace to discern and open up my heart and my spirit to the prophetic. and keeping God you are covenant keeping God Yahweh covenant keeping God Sila Bashalanda Salah Shabraski Barita Hasha one more time Let me speak over your life and then your pastor will come and speak again. We do not stand sufficient in ourselves. We are only but products of his mercy and products of his grace. But let me tell you this, if you open up your heart to discern, you will marvel and wonder at what happens to your life from tonight. In the name of Jesus. I stand by the spirit of grace over your life inside outside the overflows and those following online every prison spiritually shilakata financially that you have found yourself in in the name of Jesus who is a help them please Jesus who is the son of the living God? Come out of that prison now. Come out of that prison now. Come out of that prison now. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cuts the bars of iron in sunder. Shapakatotosh. Every gate, ancient gates, Shapakata, ancestral gates, locked up by witchcraft, help them please. I'm prophesying to someone, every altar that sits upon your destiny and will not let you go. You have fasted and you have prayed. I come in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. I command fire on those altars now. Fire on those altars now! Fire on those altars now! Every opportunity you have lost, every relationship you have lost, in the name of Jesus, I call upon my God, the restorer of time, and I speak to you between now and the end of this year. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Recover.
for now. Believe what you are hearing. Recover now. Hallelujah. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I don't know who in this city has been ordained to send for you, but I stand in the name of Jesus and I speak to the north of Abuja, the south, the east, and the west. Whoever must send for you to bring you out of that dungeon, I command that they send for you now. I command that they send for you now. I command that they send for you now. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Alas, master, it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? Let me speak to someone here. That financial debt is sitting on your head. Sitting on your ministry. And it looks like there is no way out. I call upon the God of Jeshurun. The one who rides upon the wings of the wind. And I declare, according to the time of life, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. The Bible says the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. Every scheming of hell over your family, over your destiny to keep you grounded in the name of Jesus. He said, lose that man and let him go. I command be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. Sammy said in Psalm 3, many are they that rise up against me, he said. Many are they which say, where is thy help? He said, but thou, O Lord, you are a shield for me. He says, you are my glory, the lifter up of my head. I decree and declare every horn according to Zechariah 1 verse 18 that has lifted up his head against your destiny. O Judah, O city of peace, O city of praise, O city of worship, I come as a carpenter by the spirit of grace and I declare unto you in the name of Jesus, those horns are judged now. Those horns are judged now. Hallelujah. Please, let me tell you this. Make up your mind to not miss any of these sessions. By the grace of God, we are going to deal with this now. We are just having a discussion. Sincerely, let me tell you this. I fear God with all my heart. And I serve God with all the grace that he has given me. I'm called to the body of Christ. I'm not called to a church or a ministry. And so when God grants me the privilege to come and minister, it's an opportunity to discern the dimensions that must be introduced into the lives and the destinies of people. Are we together now? My session, I understand, was supposed to be tonight and then Sunday, Sunday morning. But by the grace of God, for the sake of you and your loved ones, we're having a session tomorrow morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This is a sacrifice that God is doing. I want you to come with all your family members tomorrow morning. Except God is not God, but that there is an altar sitting on anyone's destiny. If I told by the grace of God, your feet steps upon this place. Listen, before you believe a man, go and find out about him. Don't just believe for nothing. There is a name that God has given him and is exalted above every other name. Please, I like you, whatever sacrifice you will make, 
if there are no overflow, sit on the sit on the, the roof. Wherever you can sit tomorrow morning, please open up your heart with your expectation. And Pastor, please, if you will allow me, I want everybody tomorrow, by the grace of God, if Pastor permits, write a request of what you are tired of seeing in your destiny. Please, I want to just obey this prophetic instruction. Those online or from whatever nation, I want you to write it. You can send it. I'm sure the media team will be able to help out. Please write it. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we will bring those, those requests here that the God that answers by prayer, here at Word Alive, let him be God. Are we together now? Many of your loved ones probably, they have been praying and saying, Lord, give us a visitation. I'm lending my voice with that of your man of God and let God help us deal with issues here once and for all. Hallelujah. Are we together? What, what time What time would that be? Nine o'clock. Nine on the dot. Please, whatever time, I'm sure that standing will not kill you. Come early, open up your heart and your spirit. You know anyone in your life who you see patterns, yokes of darkness, and respectfully speaking, even some of us men and women of God, we know some of our colleagues and contemporaries who you look at their lives and you know that this is not a reflection of the glory of God. That your heart be open tomorrow. Do the work of an evangelist. This is not just some publicity for the sake of self-aggrandizement. It's a communication of passion. I know by the Spirit that God wants to address issues in people's lives. Hallelujah. Tonight as you go, I declare the grace you didn't come with. May that grace rest upon you and go with you. And Samuel prophesied to Saul and said, the donkey you are looking for has been found. Before you reach home, some of you, I decree and declare that what has been missing for a long time, you will see it waiting for you. Number two, he said you will see three men holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and give to you. I don't care who has rejected you and who refused to attend to the matters of your destiny. But I stand upon this sacred altar. I compel them to attend to you. In the name of Jesus. Many of you tonight by the spirit of God into tomorrow and the final session. There are ancient giftings. Many of you have had dreams and revelations. You've seen some of these impartations for yourself and your ministry. This is the season where you come with your heart open to receive. And I pray for you that even beginning from tonight, let God begin to do strange workings in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's honor our Father as he comes and just speaks over your life. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Ezekiel 21 verse 27. He said, I will overturn. And overturn. And overturn. Until it comes to him whose wife it is. And I will give it to him. Lift up your hands. I pray for you today. That you will not end this year empty handed. That which God is to give to you, I release them right now. Wherever it is, I overcome. I move and I shift it to your direction. I move and I shift it to the direction of your family. I move and I shift it to the direction of your destiny. I overturn and overturn and overturn that which is yours and I hand it over to you in the name of Jesus I take your healing and I hand it over to you I take your favor and I hand it over to you any altar sitting on what is yours I unseat them now by fire any power sitting on what is yours I unseat them now by fire I receive your keys and I hand them over to you I receive your appointment letters I hand them over to you I 
receive your restoration. I hand them over to you. In the name of Jesus. Eternal Father, there is someone that has waited on you this long. Not only waiting in the place of fasting. Not only waiting in the place of even timing. You have waited in the place of patience and endurance. You despise shame. Despise insults. They have asked you, where is your God? Oh God, who made the heavens and the earth. The God of all flesh and the Father of all spirits. Show up today on behalf of your people. Show up today on behalf of your people. Show up, oh God, and roll away the reproach. Show up, oh God, and wipe away the tears. Show up, oh God, and take away the shame. Show up, oh God, and remove the pain. Show up, my Father, in the lives of these ones. Show up, oh God, and let them say, God, in the midst of these people, is mighty. Thank you, Father. Because it is done. Get ready. The remaining 28 days of this year shall be the best. There have been multiple 28 days. 28 days in January. You saw 28 days in February. You saw 28 days in March, April, May, June, July. You saw 28 days in August, even September. You saw 28 days in October and even last month. But share this tonight. The last 28 days of this year. The remaining 28 days of this month. And this year, I decree upon your life that you shall put testimonies in in your hand, they shall put new songs in your mouth. The grace for signs and wonders like never before. I release it upon you, receive it now. I release it upon you, receive it now. Supernatural signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for intimacy. The grace to spend time in his presence until you draw forth into your life the riches of heaven. I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let me impart the grace for prayer. There is the spirit of prayer and supplication. The grace to travel until you touch dimensions of spiritual reality receive that grace right now in the name of jesus every spiritual slumber every spiritual lukewarmness i declare be free from it right now the capacity to understand scripture high level spiritual illumination I declare, may your eyes be open. May your heart be open. May your mind be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The fortitude to comprehend spiritual reality. I decree and declare, may that grace rest upon you. Hear me. For the things you need right now, that your spiritual level has not yet um, based on your spiritual level you may not seem to purchase those spiritual realities I stand by the power of this apostolic and prophetic mantle I still shift you to step into that level I shift you to step into that level levels of favor levels of honor levels of influence levels of speed let me pray over your finances please receive it in the name of Jesus Christ I sincerely pray for you from the depth of my heart 
that by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I forbid your hands from being dry. I forbid your hands from being dry. Enjoy the gift of man. Enjoy the gift of man. Enjoy the gift of man. Favor from the north. Favor from the south. Favor from the east. Favor from the west. Step into prepared blessings. Hallelujah. Where you have been despised from tonight, I place a mantle of honor upon your head. Everything that has refused to grow in your life, I declare the grace that makes for multiplication and growth. Whether it's your work, whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, experience exponential growth. Finally, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. All the people who have been mandated to come and be blessed by your anointing, wherever they are, I decree and declare by divine coincidences, by the leadings of the Spirit, I send them to your life to be blessed. I send them to your church to be blessed. I send them to your organizations to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, from today I want you to carry this consciousness. I am a blessing. Say it please. One more time. Say I am a blessing. For the last time say I am a blessing. Reject anything that wants to make you look like you're a cause. Anybody who does not appreciate you for who you are, just leave them with their ignorance. But as far as you are concerned, I am a blessing. Say it in the morning, say it in the afternoon, say it in the evening. Whenever you go to work, you are not just an employee waiting for salary. I am a blessing. The power of God is at work in me. I am a blessing. A blessing to your husband, a blessing to your wife, a blessing to your children. A blessing by reason of being a doctor. A blessing by reason of being a man of God. I am not a curse. I don't bring pain. I don't bring regret. There is no regret around me. I am a blessing. In thee, says, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. When you carry the mentality you are a blessing, when people come to you in need, you don't just look at them and pity yourself. You are happy because if you cannot give them money, if you cannot give them counsel, don't forget you are anointed. Don't say I cannot do anything. They may ask you for money. They may be confused. But there is something you have. You can tell them, listen, I may not be able to give you any money here, but let me pray. That grace, let it work. Go. And they will think they just left until they return with fearful testimonies. Be a proof producer. Be a sign producer. Be a wonder producer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be a multiplier factor to the advancement of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's stand as I make the altar call. Jesus is calling someone right now. You heard what we said. You must be in Christ. The power that was released is for believers who are in Christ. And please hear me. You came to church tonight, young, old, whatever region you came from, and the Lord is calling you like this gentleman who is coming out right now. I'm going to make a call. It pays not only to serve Jesus, but to love him and to come. He's done everything. He's given his life literally for you. You can choose to remain behind and say, I don't care. But the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, for some of you as you are coming out, is the salvation of your family that is coming out. For some of you as you are coming out, it is an evangelist that is coming out. An apostle in the making who is coming out. I'm going to count one to five. Wherever you are, I want you to run and come and stand right now as I make that call. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. 
it does not matter take your bags your bible if you can and everything you came to church with and very quickly come to the front god bless you i begin my counting now let's honor them koinonia one come home two come home you who are weary come home softly and tenderly jesus is called calling oh see us come home come let him give you a new beginning some of you you're coming today is a response to the prayers of many come young and old together you are in all the overflows you are outside and for our global family those who are connecting by way of the internet jesus is giving you an opportunity for some you are saying i remember giving my life to jesus but i need to rededicate my life and to make things right join them very quickly i'm about to pray join them join them hallelujah thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for coming and the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you have come to jesus he's able to give you a new beginning please lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender to jesus and i'd like you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are joining them please come join them very quickly we're about to pray say this loud and clear let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i love you with all my heart and i need you in my life right now i receive jesus as my savior i receive jesus as my lord i receive jesus as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever i am a child of god the righteousness of God and I go from glory to glory and grace to grace amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for this precious precious people you have brought thank you for those who are following online making Jesus Lord of their lives thank you for those in all of the overflows you have done this to bring glory to your name this is what it's all about and Lord we thank you for bringing these ones to Jesus they have come I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that based on the integrity of your word and their confession, we call them bona fide recipients of eternal life. We declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight, you walk in the newness of life and you go from glory to glory. In Jesus' matchless name I pray. Bless name I pray. Welcome you. Last prayer point. The grace to be an active part of this institution called the church. Lift your voice and pray. Active through in gathering. Active as a worker. Active as, an, as a participant. Not a fan. There are no fans in the church. There are active people praying, serving, bringing souls providing financial resources lord whatever role i have to play to keep this institution that is the pillar and the ground of truth alive i obtain grace go ahead to pray pray for every local assembly you know lord keep them keep that institution keep the building from being idolized but let it become a center for transformation, a center for salvation, a center for encounters. The house of God.
It is only in the house that God has commanded the blessing. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations. Receive it as a blessing. That's what you get when you come to church. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family. Amen. Father, we pray that Koinonia will remain a place of encounters. We pray that Koinonia will remain a place of revelation. We pray that Koinonia will remain a place of transformation. We pray that Koinonia will remain the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we declare from tonight's teaching that we are willing to be sharpened battle axes that you will use to beat down the gates of darkness. Lord, we declare that we are the men and women you have found worthy to become hosts of your presence and advancers of your purposes. And Lord, we thank you for this family koinonia we thank you for every church and every ministry represented in the body of christ oh god strengthen the bond of fellowship bring unity over your body let all the walls of the divides the prejudices and all the things that divide us and weaken our strength i pray oh god that they will fade in light of what you are doing but as for this ministry, I pray that you will increase our bond of love. You will increase our bond of fellowship. That in truth, we will love one another without discrimination. We will love one another without favoritism. We will love one another in spite of our different levels of stratification. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit ourselves to love one another. We commit ourselves to loving you. And we pray that in and through our lives, Jesus will be revealed. We pray by extension, oh God, committing our global family scattered across all the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus, we pray that that bond of unity and that bond of love will rest upon every one of us. We pray for the teachings the principal channel that you have used to extend your blessing through us to the nations. Lord, anoint those teachings afresh. May they go across the length and the breadth of this nation and across the globe. May they bring salvation. May they bring healing. May they bring liftings in the name of Jesus Christ. And as for you, because you came to church tonight, I decree, may the Lord bless you. I decree, may the Lord prosper you. I decree, may the Lord reveal himself to you. I decree that everything that has mocked God concerning your life, as a result of your coming tonight, I prophesy and I declare that it ceases from happening in your life. I sense in my spirit that there are people who whilst they heard this hour, brothers and sisters sharing their testimony of financial miracles their hearts were just open and they said oh that God would step in for me the prophetic dimension to activating wealth like I've always thought is not a license for laziness but there are times when you are in the sea 
there are times when your net is good there are times when your fishing skill is there but you will still not catch fish at that point you do not need fishing skill you need Jesus and for those who have exhausted all that they know to do and it looks like financial doors are not opening I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names return with strange miracles Please just help those under the anointing. Everyone here who is sick in his body, the devil has taken advantage of you, not the church. The church is a place where we separate light from darkness. I decree and declare that everything that represents darkness in your life, let it be far from your life now. And everything glorious in your life that you have lost, for, the, for people here, there are people, the proverb, Ichabod, seems to be the proverb around your life. I declare, may that proverb never be heard around your life again. Every business here, hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare, the grace to excel, let it come upon you. Every dormant gift that is lying down within you, I decree and declare that gift is activated and all those who can discern and reward that gift I call them to pay attention to you hear me if there is anyone here whose spiritual life is going down prayer life going down your passion for God going down don't feel condemned and don't feel like there is no hope for you this is the church the place where you find hope therefore I decree and declare fresh fire upon your spiritual life for everyone here who has been bereaved and is in and through any kind of emotional pain we decree and declare let the healer bring healing right now And we stand here prophetically and we lend our voices together with many who are praying over Nigeria, over Africa, over Abuja. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the purposes of God will be established in our land. In the name of Jesus. And every controlling power over this territory, the territory of the FCT, the nation of Nigeria, the continent of Africa, we lend our voices as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a united force, we decree and declare, like Dagon fell before the ark, we declare that every altar that does not project Jesus, let it fall before the ark of his presence. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. In Jesus name please everyone remain standing let me plead with us just give me two minutes let's be disciplined two minutes let me make the altar call please no moving around just two minutes and we're done there are people here God has given you an opportunity to hear this word tonight you came from various places please let's minimize movement it's it's a culture listen you have to train yourself in the house of God patience for two three minutes will not stop you from doing what you're doing as much as possible whenever the altar call is coming except otherwise let's just discipline ourselves to receive them and then we'll wrap up there are people here across the balcony here in the main auditorium all the overflows and following online you are saying apostle i've heard you teach and i want to become part of the church the church is not just men men who are in christ men who have accepted the free gift of salvation Two categories of people I want to call quickly. Number one, those who are saying, I need Jesus as a matter of life and death. Number two, those who are saying, Apostle, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration to my Christian experience. If you belong to any of these two categories, I'm going to count one to five. Please, very quickly, I'd like you to rush and come and stand. Be very bold. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they come. Who is this King of glory? 
the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? Keep coming. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Keep coming. Amen. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever amen for thy confusion as to the fact that something had come upon him are you blessed so while you are seated please if you can lay hands on your head and declare something must break open in my destiny this night oh god i come with a cry i come with a cry more than the ministration of a man i pray for encounters i pray for transformation illumination by the spirit of revelation i pray oh god that your outstretched arm will rest upon my life Are you praying for everyone that asked, receive it? Pray, oh God, that grace for prayer that I've longed for. This is a moment where it will mantle my life. That grace for the prophetic, that grace in the name of Jesus, that discipline in the spirit that I need to push through. This is a season, this is a moment. I open up my spirit to access something from heaven. Pray. This is part of the meeting. I rebuke destruction in the name of Jesus. I rebuke carnality. My spirit is open to receive something of substance from the spirit for the sake of my family, for the sake of my destiny. My heart is open. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty
like supernatural realities. within one or two minutes prayer point number one Lord I open up myself and I confess that I do not yet know as I ought to know someone lift your voice and pray this is not self-condemnation it's an acknowledgement someone pray I do not know enough in ministry as I ought to know I do not know enough as far as hosting your power and manifesting signs and wonders is concerned. I do not know enough as far as prosperity and the dynamics of wealth is concerned. I do not know enough as far as the manifestation of the word is concerned. Lord, thank you for that which you have shown me. Thank you for the results I've seen so far. But I confess that I need to know more. I have exhausted the validity of my knowledge so far. Someone is praying. Grant me grace. Somebody is praying. I'm tired of assuming results. I'm tired of dreaming results. I'm tired of wishing results. I'm tired of hoping for results. Lord, I want my life to be a perpetual manifestation of the multifaceted dimensions of the excellence of the kingdom and that comes through high level illumination teach me what i need to know you are the rabbi the wisdom of god teach me what i need to know in this conference
number two the last prayer point and we're done please look at me there were certain people who were always in Jesus's meetings and yet they never received they were called the scribes the Pharisees when Jesus met sinners he was quick to bless them because there was the brokenness and the malleability of heart they admitted their states but every time he met those who felt they knew what to do he left them in their ignorance are you ready to pray Lord give me humility of heart that if and when these truths come no matter how uncomfortable they sound may I obtain the humility to receive them for some of you these truths will come as chastisement for some of you these truths will come as a rebuke for some of you these truths will come as an encouragement for some of you these truths will come as a challenge albeit oh God I open my heart with no offense to receive let this be like the threshing floor of Naboth where you will make me and prune me no champion is trained at their own terms no champion is trained within the confines of their own convenience you must be stretched to do more hallelujah in the name of jesus now what you discover you you discover that rod that you will be using to do mighty things for the kingdom can i tell you this no matter how many times you fall don't throw that rod that is the rod that you will part the red sea with make sure by the time you get to the red sea you don't get there alone get there with your rod your rod can be your voice your rod can be your hands your rod can be your brain your rod can be your character everything that can help you today we thank God for the privilege of this rod he has so trained us to hold it was once the rod of Moses but when he handed it over to God it became the rod of God never call the rod of Moses again it is called the voice of you but when you hand it over to God it's now called the voice of God it will now sing songs that will go around the world it will now preach messages that will go around the world Be careful when you laugh at people who are in their seasons of training. You may be laughing at your destiny helper and bury your head in shame forever. There are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise. There are people who laughed at business people. Can, can I tell you this? Sometimes God allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness. They will say, no, 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 no. I saw this man of God. I knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there. I saw this business person. I, my mother even gave him 20 naira. Don't be ashamed of your season of tears. The scar on your hand today. You've heard me say it. What you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow. Are you ready to pray? Let's stop here tonight. Please rise up on your feet. Please, no moving around. Lend me two or three minutes. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. You are going to lift up your voice in the next two or three minutes and you are going to cry before the God of heaven. You are going to tell him, Lord, I am in my season of preparation. Grant me grace. Grant me grace. Lift your voice and pray. If someone pray, grant me grace to discover you. Some of you are just starting in destiny. God may not be talking to you about purpose. God may not be talking to you about ministry. He may not be talking to you about your assignment. He will talk to you about himself. He wants you to know him, not your talent. God first. Lift your voice and pray. Cry before the Lord your maker. In the beginning, God, over my life, so what will start as a ministry starts as an encounter with God. What will start as a kingdom financing ministry will still start as God. What will start as a kingdom political career still starts as God. Everything, no matter what it is, if it is in its beginning, it is God. Pray. Pray. 
pray for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline grant me the diligence may i not pamper myself may i not pamper my destiny let pain not be a a, a, a distraction let pain not constitute a limitation grant me the grace to endure like a faithful soldier building building my mind building my gifts building my mind building my value building my mind building my value is someone praying building my mind building my value this is a template that our fathers followed this is a template that our fathers gave us this is a template that scripture gives us we cannot compromise on the pattern pray for the season of pests oh that when god will prove me may i be faithful that when god will prove me may i have the stamina to remain ye who have continued with me ye who have continued with destiny I will finish my season of training with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility. Hallelujah. Hear me. Now you are going to pray for sensitivity so that you will not be missing on the day the grace for appearance comes may it find you where god asks you to stay listen the devil can cheat you through offense the devil can cheat you through impatience the devil can cheat you through the manipulation of demonic spirits to not be where the grace for your season of appearance will find you i like you to pray and cry for grace sensitivity oh god to be where my lifting will meet me. Is someone praying? Go ahead. Please pray. This is a spiritual strategy for greatness. This is a spiritual strategy in this kingdom there is no magic about how we rise this is the protocol non-emotional non-negotiable non-emotional non-negotiable i obtain grace to be sensitive to the man that god will send when my season of appearing comes i will be sensitive to the instructions that come hallelujah pray please take this prayer serious job chapter 5 and verse 19 are you ready to read want to read with me he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven shall no evil touch you number one next verse please in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant 
with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened 
to a man called Mephibosheth the Bible says and David said is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake and they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons the Bible says he sent him to Lodeba he said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth go and fetch the man the king said when he came he said although you are crippled even Mephibosheth said am I a dog that the king will be sending for me he said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you Mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying God visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave God to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me hell prepare blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we're going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests 
are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we're going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 hallelujah hallelujah let me make decrees over our lives now decrees are powerful hallelujah prophetic words don't only reveal they create they make what is not there to be there we can call the things that be not and make them to appear we can call the favor that be not and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus everywhere the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by god to hold your hand and lift you i don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe i stand by the voice of prophecy and i command them to show up in your life 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 listen to me every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life
everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch wonders happen go back right now and watch wonders happen go, uh, go back and watch wonders happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media. Go back. Let there be a few ushers for those who will be under the anointing. The ushers can receive the impartation last. Can they open this thing? You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. Touch His grace, your life is changed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we anoint these oils.
Praise the Lord. Now, listen, hold on, please. Um, Reverend has requested that it should be given um, a bowl. I would respectfully honor it. And so, please, some of these people, especially to serve the ministers, please allow a man of God, a father of faith. So, please, the fathers can serve. Just please give, give one of any of the pastors. Thank you so much, sir. We honor your humility, sir. Thank you. Please make sure the, all the people holding this, if you're doing that, please withdraw it. Let a man of God, you, you, they don't need to come out. You can just walk around with it for them there if it's possible. But in the name of Jesus, please come out now. Some of you, as soon as you touch that oil, please stand. Turn and face them. Okay. Go ahead. Please touch it and then turn back to your seat. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. As you touch it, you return back, begin to pray in the spirit. New dimension. Someone begin to pray and prophesy over your life and your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, speak over your ministry. I step into new dimensions of kingdom relevance. Great power for the journey ahead in the name of Jesus. 
I decree and I prophesy by the mighty hand of God signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ This man, come. Lift your hands. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands here. I'm seeing fire come on you. Take that grace now in the name of Jesus. Selabots, Kabarandas, Kabris, Katabareta, Sela Parutias, Ebretis, Esiabaratushi. Please pray, don't be distracted. My friend, lift your hands. Take that grace. This young man. Prophesy over your ministry. My ministry can never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Salvation for His Majesty. The miracle ministry. No more stagnation. No more delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of revelation. The spirit of power upon my life. Numerical growth. Financial growth. Access to the power of God. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. The assignment of the prophetic, among many other things, is to grant you access to the grace that will help you to rise to that place of destiny. For you see, it is not given to you to honor yourself. You can respect yourself, but honor is conferred upon you by another. I'm looking at people here this morning. Some of you have come from backgrounds like Nathaniel said about Jesus. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Sincerely speaking, there are some of you, if we are to be honest, to analyze demographically speaking, there is no advantage in terms of your earthly connection. You will need to outsource help from a dimension that is higher than your background. Please help those under the anointing because I want to pray. Something is about to come on you. This is my last assignment and then you leave. We do not just rise in this kingdom. It says thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. He does not anoint the cup. But I know what is on your cup by looking. I know what is on your head by looking at the result on your cup. If your cup is empty, don't blame the cup. It is because there is nothing on your head. The cup is a reflection of what is on your head. Hear me. I am a product of many anointings. Many anointings. I have secured the blessing of many fathers by the privilege of God's grace. It is from the abundance of that which we receive that we give. He said, look on us. And the Bible says the man at Get Beautiful looked at them expecting to receive something. And he says, such as I have, give I unto you. There are some of you, you may, be, you may look small and silent. It looks like nobody has heard you. 
but there is a prophetic destiny connected to you that you will so shake Port Harcourt, River State. I'm not just speaking in terms of ministry. There are emerging businesses that will rise from this conference. There are individuals who will be connected at a global scale. My assignment is to release that grace upon you. Your assignment is to receive. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I stretch my hand upon you. I'm releasing this grace. The grace that causes nations to hear your voice. Receive that anointing right now. Take that grace right now. Take Take that anointing right now. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Take that grace now. Receive that anointing in business, in ministry. I release that anointing upon you now. I release that grace upon you now. Hear me. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I don't know who is the help of your destiny, but I want to call them by prophecy. I speak to River State. I speak over the South South. Everyone mandated by God to hold your hand in this season. Receive an anointing that attracts them to your life. Receive an anointing that attracts them to your life. Help them please. Receive an anointing that attracts them to your life. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The Bible says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17, the Bible says she, The king loved Esther more than all the virgins. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. In the name of Jesus, may this grace for favor rest upon you. Let it rest upon you, upon your business, upon your family, upon your ministry. Hallelujah. Hear me. There is a grace for visibility. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel. He told Abraham, he said, from where thou art, lift up your eyes. You can look from where you are. You don't need to go anywhere from where you are. Your hands may not get there. Your feet may not get there, but your eyes can go there. From where thou art, he said, lift up your eyes and look northwards, southwards, eastward. That everywhere your eyes sees, to you I have given us an inheritance. I want to pray for the grace to be visionary because you see vision is more than a psychological thing it takes the spirit of god opening your eyes to see habakkuk said i will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower and i will see what you will say unto me in the name of jesus may your eyes be open to see <laughs> hear me Hagar was in the desert and yet there was an oasis in the desert and she could not see but when God opened her eyes she saw an oasis there was a lamb that was near Abraham and yet he did not see it was until God told him there is a lamb and he saw a lamb that had been caught only God knows the opportunities around your life and ministry but until you have the eyes that sees and in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9, there is an anointing that God gave Paul and he has given it by extension to his holy apostles and prophets. It is the grace that makes all men see. I decree and declare the miracle of open eyes. Receive it now. Receive it now. Capacity to see into what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're wrapping up. Give me a minute or two. Something is happening to you. I want to declare 
restoration and speed listen 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 please look up you see the unit of destiny is time the unit of destiny is time hear me anything that takes your time has taken a portion of your life anything and one way that the devil aborts great destinies is to make you waste time through a mystery called delay you know what delay is delay happens to you when the only thing growing in your life is your age and there are two mysteries that remedy delay number one is called restoration number two is called speed when God wants to help you as far as the matters of destiny is concerned he will allow these twofold mysteries to be at work in your life the mystery of speed and the mystery of restoration time can be restored he said and I will restore the years speed can be given listen when when Jacob and Rebecca connived to act like Esau and they brought the venison for Isaac Isaac said how come you have come so fast you are not supposed to have arrived by this time and he said the Lord had shown me mercy let me pray for someone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit everything that has left you that is not supposed to have left I stand by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic receive restoration now receive restoration I place it on your head I place it on your ministry I place it on your business I place it on your children in the name of Jesus Christ I declare speed and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel I pray for you may God take 10 years and put it in one year 10 years help them 10 years in one year I prophesy speed receive that grace I place that anointing upon you 10 years in one year Hallelujah. 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 My last prayer for you. Please listen. You see, we are made by these prophetic words we receive. They are not empty words, believe me. There is a throne in heaven that backs these speakings. Hallelujah. I want to speak finally over your life and release upon you the grace for honor look at me you know what honor is honor means to be acknowledged and rewarded to match your true worth that means it is possible to be perceived less than your true worth is that true when the grace for honor is upon you it mandates that men acknowledge and reward the hand of God in your life to match the degree of your sacrifice this is what many people lack in their lives they do not lack value they lack honor he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God is that in your Bible even my God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows Joshua was already full of the Holy Ghost and the Lord instructed him in Deuteronomy 
it says thou shalt take joshua the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then it says thou shalt take some of your honor and give unto him so that the nation of israel will hearken to him please look at me this generation is too busy too selfish and in many cases too wicked to pay indefinite dedicated attention to you except there is a grace that compels it so do not ever think except you are you want balloon success where you are up today and anything that happens you are down in shame tomorrow there is a grace that lifts men and keeps men but I know whom I believe he says and I am persuaded I'm seeing light come on that woman with black a black scarf that woman yes I just saw light like light coming on her in the name of Jesus madam I don't know what but the Lord is saying your life is shifting to a new dimension beginning from today help her honor is a grace that is the grace that will compel kings Jesus had that grace even as a baby that was why the Magi came why will the Magi come to greet a baby what value had he provided at the point where he came there is a place for value but you cannot beat what honor does even for a baby at the infancy kings will start coming the Magi saw a star and that star they followed that star and when they came they saw a baby they were not embarrassed they bowed before the baby and gave gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh this is what i want to pray for you finally my brothers and my sisters let me tell you what honor will give you in one day a lifetime may not be able to give you i know what i'm saying father in the name of your son jesus standing upon the grace of the intercontinental pastor and praying over your precious people here and across the overflows then by extension the many who are following by way of internet and television in the name that is above all names as we have received even from the fathers and those that have gone ahead of us from today over your life your business your family your ministry Oh no, let it rest on you now. I say it again. Oh no, let it rest on you now. Oh no, let it rest on you now. Let this mantle drive away shame. Let this mantle drive away reproach. Let this mantle drive away shame. Let this mantle drive away reproach. Hear me. Where you have been forsaken and forgotten so that no man passes through you i call you an eternal excellency a joy of many generations in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you keep loving jesus keep serving him in truth do not forget the four pillars i have taught you do not forget all the teachings that came before mine and I pray that my God will lift you in Jesus' name. Come again to honor it. So I'll just pray and I'll make an altar call. Father, all these ones that you have brought, in the name of Jesus, by the ministry of the Spirit, I am praying for you now that in Jesus' name, who is the Son of the living God, for many of you, that fire that you had Reinhard Bonke talk about, that fire that you had T.L. Osborne talk about, that fire that you had Peter Younggren talk about, those who have joined the cloud of witnesses, they came to just hear your city many years ago. I have come with that fire that you will experience Jesus, not just as a, the founder of a religion, but as the king of kings and as the lord of lords the savior of the world please hurry up we have to we have to rush ah.
Who is this King of glory? The Lord. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Where are you coming from? From Abuja here. I want to pray for you. As I saw you lifting that passport, the Lord said, I should use it as a sign to release your entire family. Uh, where are you from? Not where you are. You're... I'm from Imo State, sir. Imo State? Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the power and the glory. I stretch my hands, my friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. May that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members. Whether they are following or not, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I bring liberty right now. Passport is a token that gives access. Therefore, every door that has been closed over you and over your family, according to the word of the Lord, you are given unrestrained access right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Hmm. Separation. Most of us, like I was sharing when I was giving the charge, there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems. The symptoms are there, but let me tell you sincerely, it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem, or the whatever problem. Most times, there are spirits that are back of it. Jesus said, loose hand, I mean, he um, it, it told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years. When she was loose, then he laid hands on her and the healing happened. The healing would not happen if the spirit is there. So I want to pray for you now. You will be surprised that for some of you, even before we begin to pray for the sick, and let me tell you this, when it is time for testimonies, testimonies is not only for healing. Some of you, under the anointing here, you get up and find out that something has happened to you. When it is time for testimonies, you can join them too. And let's hear what God is doing in your life. It's just that there's no time. That's why we just limit it. To healing miracles alone but there are some of you whilst you came here you would be surprised that things would just shift like that i hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight remember don't worry a time will come we'll lift it but now i want to pray for as long as i live the devil will not find peace As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. Do you know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property. So that everything that is not you, when you see empty houses that are unoccupied, people can come and squat there temporary. But when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place, every squatter will go out. I want to pray for you now. 
at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name please I want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out we're going to be very fast here there are spirits sitting on the destinies of men there are spirits responsible for disfavor responsible for wickedness there are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities we want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke by the spirit of grace every family here represented all our viewers following from across the globe following from your homes if there be any entity that is not of the Christ causing all kinds of problems as you shout that name make sure you shout it those who are following from your homes everywhere that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation are you ready now at the count of three one two my god three shout jesus release their destinies now please bring them out release them now release their destinies now powers of witchcraft powers in the air territorial spirits sitting upon the destinies of men bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help the ushers. I'm sure their hands are limited. Whether you're an usher or not, someone is under the anointing. You can do well to just help them, bring them to the front, so that we'll save time. We're still going to pray. There are families under all kinds of yokes. You will still shout that name again. This time around, not just for yourself, but for everyone connected to you. So that even if they could not make it for your sake. Are you ready now? Father, visit families. May your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. We set altars on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We set yokes on fire. Let them go. Let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let them go. Open your mouth in one minute and begin, begin to declare your release. I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations, yokes of darkness, manipulations of witchcraft. Is someone praying? Release your children. Release your destiny. Please pray. Release your ministry. Release your business. hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me two families you are from Kogi state the Lord is taking away the spirit of death I'm seeing this my God Parakatosia, wherever that family is represented in whoever whichever individual is here I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now From the rising of the sun to 
you the setting of the same. Your name is to be hallowed. Amashali kesurate rahasala branda gaduska di brandi kapa paruga de shila karusia dimani. Hallelujah. Now I'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting God for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad, and you've not been able to have that visa. This has been for a while. Is do we have someone like that here? It's time for you to go now. Come. Please make sure you verify. Spouse, spouse, spouse. Give this man the mic. Let me. Don't. How long? Three years. You've not seen your wife? Yes. Where is she? She's in Poland. And I came here for a visa. And I was denied. Ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Yes, Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the wave of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in and many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your here. paper is there, go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be hallowed. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must leave. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, it must let you go now. Two of you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child. Out of her now. Out now. Ah, 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 ah. Please lift this man up for me. Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family that loves you. The kind of witchcraft I'm seeing on you. Because I'm seeing you inside a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not even, it's not even that somebody from the realm of, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is already here. And I'm seeing the month of July. You are on your way towards Auchi and I'm seeing an accident. Yet the thing has already finished. I stand by the God of heaven who called me. 
and I decree and declare right now. Oh, death, hear the word of the Lord. Let him go now. I command that spirit, help him out of him now. If there is anyone here, the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life, you are walking, but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit. We have been given authority even over the grave. Right now I pray. Anyone here appointed unto death, be delivered from death now. Can I surprise you? The person who will help you is here now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious God bless you, I've prayed for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here, there is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are not a, a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It is not like you are a criminal, but this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not, I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere, but I want to pray for that person. Please, if you are here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand though. Let's appreciate them as if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Can be male or female. When it has to do with demons, it doesn't matter whether you are. Please. God bless you, my dear brother. You are not the only one. I want to pray. This is a family of faith. In fact, hold on. Let me use the opportunity right now. This is a family of faith. And I'm not going to mention any particular thing, but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction, any kind, addiction is something that has control over you. When it comes upon you, you have no control until it destroys you. Come and stand here right now, quickly. God wants to set you free. Quickly, please come and stand. God bless you. Anything at all. Addiction is destroying people. Don't sit back there. You know that this is your chance. Come and stand before Jesus. And while you stand, be praying. Don't just be looking at me. Please hear me. You don't have to come. If you have a child, you should. If you are the one who is who is the victim of this, please come. The Lord will be setting you free. But if you are standing for someone, maybe your spouse or a child or whatever, please just sit where you are for the sake of space. Move forward, small. Those of you in front, they are so. Are you, are you seeing? Look at this. Now, this is not to condemn them. Listen, my, my beloved people, look at me. We are a family that loves Jesus and loves you passionately. It is the job of the church to build and to help. So there is nothing to be embarrassed about. Just make sure that as you are coming, you are really sincere to be free. Quickly come. Addictions, my God. From the rising of the sun 
to the setting of the sea. Your name is to be hallowed. Now listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or... If, okay, those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please, protocol, be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far in helping addictions. Drunkenness, masturbation, pornography, every kind of thing. They are spirits. And let me tell you the truth. It is not about being good or bad. It's about being a victim of wicked spirits. These spirits are territorial. I'm sorry to say it, but most of them come from social media. Most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages. You gather 10 people and I can tell you seven out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up, please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, Hallelujah. Hold on. There is, there is one person here, you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like, I'm seeing a syringe. Now, I don't know if the injection with what, but I don't know if it's inside. Or, don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right-thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why? This is a lesson to the body of Christ. Most of these people you see have at least one Christian near them. But this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence. Nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made. You think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know. Until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you. Those standing anywhere at all. And then those outside, those maybe addictions following. Um, respectfully speaking, I know that many of our Western people who are connecting, please don't think because you are in America or Europe, a spirit is a spirit. Addiction is addiction. And you can open, mama, you can stand in for your child. Parents, you can stand in for your loved ones. Paraka Tushkiata. Say after me, Father, Father have mercy on me. Say it again, Father, Father have, mercy on me. have mercy on me. Say in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, declare, I declare as an act of my will, of my will that, the that the Spirit responsible, responsible 
for this addiction by my God given authority I choose life I choose freedom from that spirit therefore from tonight I declare my liberty in Jesus name get ready the power of God is coming on you right now at the count of three Satan you had your confession the Bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their destinies Parakatos Kadia I break that addiction go forever in the name of Jesus Christ and every altar servicing that addiction in the name of Jesus I come against you now anything you cannot control has become a God over you be free now be free now now look at me just two instructions to help you for those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance there are three stages to total deliverance and I'll be I'll be teaching you we'll soon get into the series number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern number two is called deliverance through transformation that means your mind has to be exposed to renewal and then number three is called the discipline of conformity you have a role to play say for instance if yours is drunkenness and then you still go back to the bar chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold brought out of uh, uh, the freezer you will go back in, in, in that thing again can I tell you change your friends did you hear what I said Ch don't insult anybody but change your friends some of you you don't have one good friend one good friend a friend to a thief is what Are we together? So I beseech you by the mercies of God, now that you have received this, please be grounded in the house of God. Go to Koinonia Global, you can get the teachings, listen to them for your renewal. This is, not, this is a battle for your destiny. Number two, you can on Tuesdays, our prayer department meets at the DOA, uh, you can, whether you are a member of prayer band or not, you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that God needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh anger like I'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what I taught you right now every wicked spirit male or female I don't care what every spirit of anger can I tell you look at this look at this listen do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married before I start asking them any question the first thing is proper deliverance from these things. When you marry somebody, you are marrying everything they came with. The assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home. That's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again. Or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the, from the pot and 
put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of anger, not just for those who are out here, but for everyone here. If there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger, right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus. Now please, let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats. Please, let there be... Huh? The person injecting himself, who is that? This lady, oh my God. Let the rest go, let she can stay. Please stay, darling, I'll pray with you right now. Eh? The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those under the anointing can stay. Please, the rest... If you are moving, please move quickly. We are still, we are about to pray for the sick now. Is someone seeing what God is doing in this place this night? Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me. Don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Is someone agree with me over this lady? You see, the secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry, one of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if you, are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from a do state and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. Yeah. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. Yeah. We will never lose you to Satan. Yeah. The Lord is showing you mercy. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit and every spirit resides legally if it is to function in the earth here it resides in a body are we together and for as long as you have a body you have the legitimate ground the authorization to function within the earth whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. It can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding, as you age, and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body, naturally, medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things. And I have found out that 
about the most common of these things for men, prostrates, high blood pressure, uh, what do we call it again, paralysis, and all these things, um, what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again? You start forgetting things and all of that. You see that now. And then, of course, women, it comes as all kinds of things. But I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here. I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in Scripture, it is time for it to leave. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement, outside, those following online. Now, we'll do two things at the same time. Number one, is our ushers will be collecting the prayer requests now. What I want you to do, please still write. If there are things you need to write, I'll give you one minute very quickly. You want to add something, your faith has been enlarged, and you still want to add one or two things, write it down quickly, and then pass it. May I request that you pass it to someone, maybe by your left and right. Let there be one person who has it. Nobody will read your request. Just pass it for ease. Ushers, please, you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it. If you're still writing, just take a minute or two and write, believing the Lord to step in for you. You heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified, writing something in the prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Very quickly, very quickly, medical reports, terminal situations, unfavorable conditions for you, your children, parents, spouse, company, business, church, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing but in everything. So there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer. In everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, we start reading from verse 6. You find that and it says, and the peace of God will garrison your heart and your mind very quickly now I want to pray for the sick listen I have seen the healing power of Jesus I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister look the miracle that Jesus did for her husband literally from the dead and then correction brand new organs the mighty God is able to do this I want to pray for you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now please, lay your hands. Why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact? It's a way of releasing your faith. Before God stepped in, we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural. One is passion for God and complete surrender. Number two, we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep 
heartfelt worship. Number three is faith. Now you are about to exercise your faith. I hope you know that faith is simply obedience. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the demands that commit God to your life. Without action, you are not walking by faith. It's as simple as that. Faith is more than confession. Faith is more than believing. Faith is your action. Now here's what I want you to do. We're not going to take too much time. The moment I begin to pray for you, others, as you fell under the power of God, miracles began to happen to you, all kinds of supernatural connect, cor um, corrections. Do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed? It's not just to show that the man of God is powerful. No. You see, it, it, with all humility, at, at this point in ministry, there is nothing to prove again. God has honored himself beyond contention. But the goal is, in coming out to testify, three things happen. Number one, you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully. Number two, it acts as a seal to what you have done. Are we together? The Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word. Yes. The word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming. So I'm going to pray for you right now. All the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe. As I pray for you right now, immediately I want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out, outside of uh, the local environment. And for those who are here, the moment I ask you to come out, to come and testify, do not be afraid, do not be ashamed. I want you to come out, we'll take a few testimonies, then we'll pray over re the requests and I prophesy into your life. Are you ready now? Please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute. Jesus, step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is. Mention it. Please pray. Don't tolerate anything that does not look like Jesus. I'm beginning to lose hearing. Don't tolerate it. I'm suffering the issue of blood. Don't tolerate it. I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms. Don't tolerate it. It looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in. Step in over my life. Step in over my destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one of the visions that I had, as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me, and it was in the night, and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something. And I heard a voice, that voice spoke to me, and it said to heal them. And that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry, I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I believe. I believe. He heals. He heals. He healed yesterday. He's healing now, and he will heal forever. The healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display. Are you ready now? Let's pray. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy jesus something is happening here I'll sing it one more time. The saints and the angels bow. 
the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you Lord. i was given an example about this a large prostrate but it's not just an example the Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now. It's beginning to happen to you. This thing happened from when you were around 55. It started. All of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare. Everyone here who has any blood condition. You've seen Jesus change genotypes here. You've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood. Every stranger in your blood that should not be there, in the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. Yeah. Migraine headaches, the Lord is healing migraines. Yeah. Very severe migraine. Be healed now. Yeah. Every damaged organ in your body, we declare a brand new organ now. Yeah. The pelvic area for someone You've had severe, severe pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now. Please believe it, you are receiving something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eye conditions. For one of you, you are just beginning to see its symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem. And for others, it's been there for a while. It does not matter how long I command eyes be open now. Yeah. Honestly, I'm sensing a very, very strong anointing. There's someone, your chest, your chest, that demonic thing around your chest, I declare be released from it now. Yeah. Th this, is, this is not like you have fever, but many times, your tongue just tastes bitter very very bitter for reasons you do not know and the moment that thing happens it comes with ill health it looks like a, a severe case of typhoid but you've treated it is return you've treated it is return is a demonic thing right now i stretch my hands be healed in the name of jesus christ every blood condition i'm repeating it again hiv in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Hepatitis, be healed now. Sugar diabetes, be healed now. Severe waist pain, the Lord is healing severe waist pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I don't know what it is, at this side of your neck, as soon as I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will see that a miracle has happened right now. Let that demonic growth leave you now. There is someone, you are not in the main auditorium, but you are losing your teeth. I've prayed over this kind of condition before. Something is happening and it's like your, your teeth, your gums or whatever is weakening. And a few have been pulled out already and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak. The power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration. Now, anyone who is on crutches, anyone who is using an aid to walk, I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafness, partial deafness, total deafness, I command that ear to be open now. whoever told you he does not change men read your bible and watch Saul turn to Paul Jesus the bible says 
that no other name under heaven is given unto men by which we must be saved that name that name come I'm about to pray for you now for those who are not able to make it in please may I request that you stand in front of your LEDs and please let me plead with counselors or any of the pastors if there would be at least one pastor okay there are pastors everywhere already God bless you now for those of you who are in front I salute you thank you for your courage some of you are crying you are doing that which you are doing is unto Jesus Jesus makes men Jesus builds men lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender thank you thank you for not being ashamed thank you for not being ashamed he gives you a new beginning I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I don't have to cry. That is the integrity of the gospel. For he has paid the price. I plead the blood. 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 The precious blood. I plead the blood. The blood. Eternal saving blood. I don't have to cry Hallelujah For Jesus paid the price All of you lifting your hands Please shout this loud and clear Unto Jesus Say this after me Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. One more time say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Tonight, Tonight I declare, I declare. That I love you with all my heart I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior my Lord and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones inside here, the many outside and those who are following online, even those who will be following by way of rebroadcast. Thank you for leading these many to yourself. The Bible says, as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call you recipients of the life of God. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. I call you the righteousness of God in Christ. From tonight until forever, you go from glory to glory in Jesus mighty name and the church says amen. amen now very quickly ladies and gentlemen there's someone waving the counselor placard may I please request that you just follow this one instruction as we clap for you just follow them they will have a word with you just for a minute or two and then you rush back can we give them a big God bless you please go ahead give them a big God bless you Is somebody giving them a big God bless you? Oh, 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 You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. I'm saying that because I'm about to speak over your life finally. Oh, 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 o
Thank you. Please stand on your feet. I'm about to speak over your life. Hallelujah. Now, I truly, I'm not sure it's his time yet, but I mean, this is, this is the beauty of brotherhood and love. Thank you, sir. Let me even give you a big. Now, since he has come, he's going to blow the trumpet for me. Will that be fine? There's just something about prophesying under that unction. So he will blow that trumpet and I will speak over your life. Do you know what that means? The blowing of this trumpet and the prophecy means everything buried for as long as it has been buried. Listen, oh yeah, BJ Sachs, come, 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 come. Let me give you a big hug, by the way. Hallelujah. So there, there are sounds that are going to rise. Can we do this prophetically for two or three minutes? Now be very sensitive. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. As the sound goes up, Yours is to open up your heart that everything that is dead, everything that is buried, and every season that I've wasted by the mercy of God, resurrection is about to happen. Does someone believe that? Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors. Hallelujah. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Champions Cathedral, worry, we stand united here on this stage and we decree and declare, we call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one who can help men arise. I prophesy over your life, standing upon the graces here, every season that you have aborted may my god restore may my god restore may my god restore may my god restore in the name of jesus christ number two i decree and declare everything the devil stole that is taken from your life in the name of jesus even by the sound of the trumpet, we declare a sevenfold restoration. A sevenfold restoration. A sevenfold restoration. A sevenfold restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every mantle, every grace, every unction that must rest upon your life in this season. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. As a man of God, as a businessman, as a parent, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, the Bible says, Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Anyone who has dug a pit for you, we stand by the God of heaven. Like Haman, they will fall into the pits that they dug. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Champions Cathedral, arise, shine. Worry, arise, shine. In the name of Jesus, for the set time for your rising has come. No more going down. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Now, as Pastor Nat blows the trumpet as God puts in his spirit, I want there to be a sound of rejoicing all over this place in the name of Jesus. Yes, able to wrestle with God, and you will be the one who wins. But let me tell you this every time your will defeats the will of God, start being afraid for yourself. It will take mercy to redeem you. Tonight's teaching is very serious. It will take mercy to redeem you when you get out of the will of God. There are stories upon stories I can tell you of people who stubbornly push through. God, I don't care. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger. We're going to pray. There was a time I was given an invitation to go to a particular nation. I would not mention the name. And my people already know the moment my spirit begins to fight something they just leave me alone quietly because once my spirit starts fighting something I know that there is something that is wrong I may not fully understand we started planning for that meeting and the people were very happy I was excited to go to that land it will be my first time there and I perceived the people to be very serious but we started the planning to go and stamp my visa. My visa was in another embassy. There was a delay. Very silly things were causing. It was many things were affecting the preparation. At a point, I told them, stop. Something is wrong. I know my work with God. Something is wrong. Eventually, I asked them to tell the people that I'm sorry I may not be able to make it. True story. They were very sad now I love them even today perhaps they are following but I said I may not I'm not going to be able to honor the meeting I'm sorry but they got really sad they got sad and I said what is wrong if you've spent some money maybe bookings don't worry let me just have your bills I will refund you in full later on I would discover that when it was announced that I was coming to that nation true story people from neighboring nations started saying we're coming to and when they saw the volume of people and the kinds of people they sat together and said look we're not going to waste this opportunity they now came up with a program where people will pay a particular amount and then they will have a private session with me they gave them an assurance that if they pay that money they will give them and the people said if it's a puzzle, no problem how much is it some people were going to pay for themselves and their whole families and while I was here my spirit I'm teaching you how to walk in the will of God if your prayer life is dead you will fall into many traps cheaply not every open door is God's door or not every open door is a door you should enter at that time sometimes it may be the door you will eventually enter It was a difficult thing later on in anger they did not tell the people I was not coming again because they didn't want to be disappointed and so the meeting would start crowds of people came and they brought somebody with all due respect to the body of Christ they carried one prophet from a nation and took somewhere and one young boy that boy made a caricature of the gospel he did so many and it was a land that is very conservative that young boy did a lot of nonsense things was trying to it turn I think I was hearing he was turning water you know I'm, I'm not I don't speak against I, I, be, I believe in miracles but I know what is not a miracle hallelujah a lot of nonsense and do you imagine respectable people who flew in you can imagine a man of status with his children who flew in people were fasting and praying to encounter God here comes a young boy ill prepared for ministry who just came and wasted their time people were just kissing and they got up and walked away they said no wonder apostle did not come 
and I said Lord you see how you protect us and sometimes we don't know that it is your love many restraints is the love and the mercy of God so that certain battles will be fought are we together when koinonia started after about two three years or thereabout I started having an inspiration should I come to Abuja to come and set up koinonia I was in this same city having a retreat and I saw a plane the plane was written ENI the plane left Zaria and it was coming to Abuja the moment it was about to land Abuja it crashed and everybody within the plane died I knew what God was saying that don't you dare do anything that is outside of my timing it was still in his plan that will be here but timing is as important as the word the word go and the word go now are not the same the word go and the word go later are not the same so just because God tells you you are going to go left you need to ask him now that I know where I'm going when am I going when am I going because if you miss one day or if you exceed with one day it can corrupt the entire process of the journey has God spoken to someone tonight there are only two prayer points we are going to pray tonight within the time that we have the prayer first prayer is oh God where I am already at the edge of making a fatal disaster over my life I obtain grace for a U-turn this night open your mouth and begin to pray please pray from the depth of your heart someone is praying talk to the Lord Lord, where I have missed out on your will for my life, I obtain grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying, where I have feared of sincerely. I thought you were the one telling me to do the business. I thought you told me to start ministry. Now I realize you are not the one. I'm not ashamed to cry. Show me mercy. Because he said his yoke is easy and his burden is light. When you are carrying what is killing you, vet and be sure that it is God's burden you are carrying. don't be tired please pray this is about your destiny hallelujah prayer point number two lord grant me the grace and the staying power that all the days of my appointed time i will wait until your voice comes to lead me destroy the spirit of impatience listen especially this our generation there is pressure to prove a point i am now a millionaire ministry is now working i now have thirty thousand members be careful for 10 years you may be pastoring 10 people those 10 people are not yet your members they are the leaders you are raising afterwards god will now bring members and you will find out that you are leading a global ministry it is this lack of understanding the will of God and the timing of God that has brought many people to rub their hands in all kinds of satanic things. You are going to pray, Lord, the grace to stay. The grace to stay in the area and the place of your will. No matter the sun, no matter the rain, the stamina to insist to see that your will comes to pass in my life. Someone pray, lift your voice and pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray 
from the depth of your heart Hallelujah. 1 John 5, 14 and 15. 1 John 5, 14 and 15, please. Media help us. 1 John 5, 14 and 16. This will be our memory verse for tonight. Use it to pray throughout this week. Let's read it together. And this is the confidence we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us 15 and if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask we know that we have our petitions that we desired of him your confidence is that once you are in the will of god find rest once you are in the will of god find rest for some of you, you are about to quit your job right now. And God is saying, that job, if you are, can be patient three more months, just when your promotion is on its way coming, don't let the devil cheat you because the salary is not a reflection. Don't make the mistake of Hagar. When they banished Hagar, Hagar went away in anger. When God met her, he said, return back to your mistress. Your mistress. Listen, please use this week to pray. Pray in the spirit. Write the various aspects of your life out and say, Father, with clarity, reveal your will. Don't mind people who say it doesn't matter. You have a brain. Be careful. Brain has landed many people in trouble. It is better to be foolish and to wait. When his word comes, influence comes, grace comes. The man you are seeing today standing before you that by the privilege of God's grace you celebrate is a product of the honor that comes in standing with the will of God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. For all of you who are asking, Lord, direct me. Let me know your counsel for the next chapter of my life. Receive precision of understanding of his will in Jesus name. Some of you, he will come to you in dreams this night. Some in visions this night. Some he will give you a scripture this night. Some he will reveal to your spirit this night. But by all means, may my God reveal to you. By all means, may my God reveal to you. Number two, I want to pray specially for all those who have been in the waiting room of destiny waiting on the word of the Lord I want to pray for you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you Everything that was stolen shall be turned unto you. Can I tell you this? Hear me. It does not take God anything to compress the blessings of your 20 years, of your 10 years, of your 5 years, and bring it in a moment. Therefore, I prophesy to you, especially for those who have been waiting on the word of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, with his word let there be restoration with his word let there be multiplication with his word let there be increase in the name of jesus hear me for some of you as the word of god is coming in this season it will come with a grace to pursue it will come with a grace to overtake and by all means to recover all i say it again it will come with a grace to pursue it will come with a grace to overtake hear me some of you may have been barren 5 10 15 years it's not one child that will come 
four children at once will come to compensate for the time of waiting in the name of Jesus Christ Joseph do not fear your compensation is already in the palace Joseph do not see your season of the prison as a waste your compensation if you insist to come out of the prison God will open the door but you will return back to Potiphar's house but if you wait for his timing you will never need to go to Potiphar's house again from the prison you are going to the throne may the grace that enthrones let that grace rest upon you may the grace that lifts let that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.